Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to learn the steps on how we can create a new virtual hard disk in Hyper-V. Creating a new virtual hard disk is typically a step in the process of setting up the virtual machine that we will use it. It's definitely not the only instance or method for creating a hard disk. You don't have to attach the VHDX to a virtual machine, though as Hyper-V Manager offers a comprehensive management system for virtual hard disk, even if they aren't connected to a VM. You can use it to create both standalone virtual hard disk and disk that are directly attached to a virtual machine. PowerShell also provides similar functionality for creating and managing virtual hard disk. To get started, open Hyper-V Manager. First, I'm going to create a standalone new virtual hard disk on our Hyper-V host. Right click on Hyper-V host, click new and then select hard disk. This will open the new virtual hard disk wizard. Click next. The first screen that appears is the choose disk format page where you can select either the older VHD format or the newer VHDX format. Unless you need to use the disk on pre-2012 version of Hyper-V or share it with a third-party hypervisor that doesn't support VHDX, you will most likely want to choose VHDX. Make your selection. There's one more option called the VHD set, which I will cover in a separate video. We'll go with the VHDX and then click next. The next screen is choose disk type, where you can select between fixed size, dynamically expanding and differencing. A fixed size disk allocates the full specified space immediately when the disk is created. For example, if you create a 20 GB fixed size disk, it will use 20 GB of storage space on the host right away, regardless of how much data is actually stored on the disk. A dynamically expanding disk starts small and grows as data is added to it. For example, if you create a 100 GB dynamically expanding disk, it may start at a much smaller size and expand up to the 100 GB limit as the virtual machine uses more space. Differencing is a concept that involves a parent disk and a child disk. The parent disk holds a baseline hard disk image which typically includes the operating system along with any applications and data installed. After configuring the parent disk, a differencing disk is created and assigned as its child. When the virtual machine with the disk assigned runs, any changes made to the baseline parent image are stored in the child differencing disk, keeping the parent disk unchanged. Choose the disk type based on your requirements. In this example, we will go with the dynamically expanding disk. Click next to continue. Next, we will be asked to provide the name and location for a new virtual hard disk. We can use any location accessible to the host system or simply accept the default location. In this example, I am giving the virtual disk name vdisk1. We are storing this virtual disk on the default location. Click next. If you are creating a new differencing disk, the next screen will prompt you to select the parent virtual hard disk. In our example, you will be on the configured disk screen. On the screen, we have three options to choose from. Create a new blank virtual hard disk does exactly that. You will need to specify the size of the disk you want to create. By using the second option, you can also choose to copy the contents of an existing physical disk to the disk file. The final option is similar to the second, except that the source is an existing VHD file. Since we want to create a blank virtual hard disk, We'll choose the first option. We are going with the default VHD size, which is 127 GB. Click next. The final screen is a summary. Review the settings and click previous if you need to make any corrections. If everything looks good, click finish to create the new blank virtual hard disk. This is how you can use Hyper-V Manager to create a standalone virtual hard disk. Let's open file explorer. Let's go to the C drive. Uh, let me access the folder. This is the default location where Hyper-V host is storing the VHD files. We can see a newly created virtual hard disk with the name VDisk1. And the current size of this virtual disk is 4MB. Let's click OK and let's close File Explorer. Now let's see the steps to use Hyper-V Manager to create a new virtual disk directly on a virtual machine. Let me start a virtual machine first. 
Let's right click on Win 11 hyphen VM01 and select Start. Again, right click on Win 11 hyphen VM01 and select Connect. Open Run menu, type disk mgmt.msc and press Enter to open Disk Management Console. Click on File and select Settings. As you can see, currently we have only one disk, disk 0, attached to this virtual machine. Click to select the controller you wish to connect the new disk to. Remember, you cannot make changes to the disk configuration of an IDE controller while the virtual machine is running. But this restriction does not apply to the SCSI controller. Click on iSCSI controller. Select hard drive and click on add button. Notice that the connection information for the controller is the one you selected earlier and the location is the next available slot on that controller. You also have the option to click on Browse to select an existing VHD. But since we want to create a new virtual hard disk, we will click on New. This will open the new virtual hard disk wizard. We need to repeat the same steps to create the virtual hard disk. Click Next. Select the dynamically expanding disk type and click Next. Enter the disk name and choose the location for the new virtual hard disk. Once you are ready, click Next to proceed. Click Next. Then click Finish to create the new virtual disk. The new virtual disk has been successfully created. To attach the newly created virtual disk to the selected VM, click Apply then OK. In Disk Management, we can verify that the second disk is added successfully. Let's right click on Disk 1 and select Initialize Disk. Choose the partition style for the newly attached virtual disk and click OK. You can now create a partition in the unallocated space on disk 1 and store your data there. So these are the two methods to create a new virtual hard disk using Hyper-V Manager. Now let's use Windows PowerShell to create a new virtual disk in Hyper-V. Right click the Windows Start button and select Terminal Admin to launch the PowerShell with administrative permissions. Use the new hyphen VHD commandlet to create the new virtual disk. Type command new hyphen VHD hyphen path d colon slash VHDS slash VDisk 3 dot VHDX hyphen size bytes 20 GB hyphen dynamic. This command will create a new dynamically expanding disk named VDisk 3 dot VHDX in the d colon slash VHDS folder with the 20 GB size. Press enter to execute the command. The new virtual hard disk with the name VDisk 3 is created successfully. Now you can attach this virtual hard disk to any VM just like we did before. Let me open File Explorer, go to the D drive and access VHDS folder. We can confirm that VDisk3 is present under this folder. This is how you can create a new virtual hard disk in Hyper-V using both the Hyper-V Manager and Windows PowerShell. That's all for this video on how to create a new virtual hard disk in Hyper-V. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Hyper-V and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.